Hi. Hey, you remember me? You just seen me this morning. I got late here, but guys, good things come to the late pigeons. You don't kill every late pigeon. Certain ones you kill, but not everyone. Who am I with? Hey, super flyer. This is a real super flyer, guys. You're going to be very happy today. Remember, this shit works best if you like, share, and subscribe. If you don't like, and you don't share, and you don't subscribe, you're a bit of an ass. But hey, it's okay, because I understand sometimes I don't like, share, and subscribe. So make sure you guys do that on YouTube, on Facebook. We are in Belgium. Yes, you see the name on the screen. It's a tricky one. It means steel mountains? Stone mountains. Is that what it means? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, it, there he is, the one and the only. Oh, I zoomed you in. Man, that doesn't look good. You can't. Oh. It looks good zoomed in. Wait a second. Is my hair okay? Perfect. Oh, Perfect okay. hair. That's yes. Nice. Do you use a lot of gel with that <laughs> yes, hair? Yes, 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 of course. Here he is, the one and only Stefan Steenbergen. Hello, hello. From, from Belgium. Super flyer, 120 kilometers to about 900 kilometers. He's a hen racing machine. He's got super hens. He's got big, big lofts. The biggest lofts I've seen, the smallest amount of pigeons. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's, it's not go on, uh, on a lot of lot pigeons. It's go on, only on, on quality pigeons. And uh, you must be correct to everybody when you breed hunters. How many top quality pigeons you have? Not a lot, eh? Don't mm -hmm. worry. Not a lot. And I will say something we just had. and We're not, we're not bullshitting. We just had coffee. He says to me, a man, a 76-year-old man from America. Yeah, true. I talked to him two years ago. He's winning, winning, winning with my pigeons. I said, the man's name is Wally Bielek. And he says, I don't know. We <laughs> call the know. man up. And he says, he, <laughs> he gives Stefan the name of the pigeon. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> the man help. wins over, over $8,000 in two seasons with this man's pigeons. Yeah, I was really, really happy that I hear him because... Yeah, that was unbelievable, really. One of those things, isn't it? Yeah, it's 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 unbelievable. Yeah, it's okay. it's unbelievable. But but that that's the power of these pigeons that we offer at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. That's the power of them. They can win. Yeah. They can win because these breeders, they're world <clears throat> champion breeders, and and that's really yeah. what you are. Yeah, L listen, you can never see in the head, but uh, I I really um, because in America not a, a lot of people know me. But uh, I try to do my best and I give with all my heart, in my opinion, a good pigeon to the auction. Uh, I, I'm not uh, say a lot of things, but I try to do my best, really. Otherwise, I, you, you, will, you can find out if you see me in one auction in all these years, he did, not one. He doesn't do it. Guys, I met him in Poznan in 2018. His booth was sold out. He's a super nice guy. I handled his pigeons that day. They were superior pigeons. He doesn't do auctions. He and this is just how he is. He he's he's yeah. a small guys. I'm going to tell you. We're going to go outside for a second, and, and can we show him a little? Yeah, bit? yeah. We show him just a little bit. We're going to give you a sneak peek. Remember, we have a full loft tour with Stefan. But I'm just going to show you. Is that is that you in another life? Yes, it's for the next life. <laughs> next next life. Yes, sir. It's not the most nicest day here in Belgium. No, it's it's the the weather is not so so nice. Uh, not so but, nice. But okay, I race here in this two lofts. Eh? Yeah, you and you uh, see the lofts, guys. Uh, and all the rest is empty, empty, empty. Eh? His lofts are all, uh, and I tell you, they're all empty. And the greatest thing is, he will always say to you, "You can come to my house, look at any time." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very nice setup. I remember this video, and you, you, you get the birds in with the stick. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You beat them All with the, the stick. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did yeah. you learn that? Yeah, it's discipline. You must, you must not start uh, on after two months, but when they come over from the breeding loft and they are 25, 27 days old, I start all with the stocks. It's, yeah, yeah, they must learn it. And, you, and you're, I, you're very, uh, uh, one thing that we, we can learn from you is you're very strict when uh, keeping pigeons mm -hmm. to, to keep them they have to perform at the highest level yeah otherwise uh, no chance and uh, guys if you, if you want to know for instance you you only fly hens yeah but yeah. the young pigeons that you fly you concentrate on the cocks yeah yeah and, and the cock birds for them to make money or not money for them to make a place here yeah how do they do it yeah uh, you must know i breed all every year uh, between 120 and 130 youngsters and the cocks they i raise the cocks they must fly minimum 11, 12, 13 times. They must fly three national race up to 520 kilometers. And then, then I select. 
and there are not a lot that can go to my breeding loft. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need not a hand for all the cocks because, yeah, it's, it's go all the time for good pigeons. But in, in, when the cocks come from the racing season, they cannot breed in the first year. It's my, my decision. Uh, they're molting out. They must, uh, yeah, they must feeling well in the breeding loft. And after one year, the next year in November, then I'm pairing the first. The other thing, you are a guy that uh, you take a lot of pride in the selection of your pigeons. Yeah, you, you really care when someone opens the basket for the first time yeah. and takes your pigeon. Yeah. Because I know we talk about it. You buy a pigeon from a, a, a fancier. You spend a lot of money. Yeah. You open the basket up. You take it in your hands, yeah. and you were disgusted. Yeah. You weren't happy. No. The first impression it's, is, is a, a very important. Yeah, you know, th this is the most important, but, but you, you must be honest to everybody. When you come on the world, when you're born, everybody has the same, nothing. I work also very hard in, when I was young, 17, 18, 20 years. And, and, and money is money in, in everywhere, in all the world. And the economic is also not so good in all the world. But when you buy a pigeon and you open the box and you say not, wow, this is a nice pigeon, let it go. That's right, let it go. And, and, uh, one thing and I also uh, one thing I want to say, when this auction go on, doesn't matter for me, uh, doesn't matter what the price is, really not. I hope you're successful with this pigeon. When you're not satisfied, when you open the box, please let it know on Ryan or let it know on me. Otherwise, I send you money back. You send the ring to me. Otherwise, you ask another for a pair. And not any problem. And this is the way the guy is. Uh, you sell birds to China, yeah, I'm all right over, now. all yeah. over the Middle East. Yeah. I, I was here multiple times. I helped you today film a, a couple pigeons that yep. you're sending to people. Yep. This is a man of his word. If you are not yeah. happy with the quality of this mm. man's pigeons, no, no, he no. has no problems. And and I like this about him. Not he's, any problem. He's a straight no. guy. He, and his, you know what? In this world, not a lot of people keep their word. No, but, but you do. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, you know, I, I think I learned from my grand grandfather. He uh, sell when I was very young, five, six, seven years. He was handler in horses. Yeah. Ah. And and all all the time he say, when you do a handshake, go never back from your handshake. You need not on the paper this. Always you need a handshake, and you must always correct. I keep it for myself, and I give it also, I have one son, I give this information also to my son. Hey, uh, a, f a fellow Belgian, Peter Verace, you know Peter Verace? Yeah, yeah. He says, hello. Yeah. He says, you're, look oh, you're hey. looking good on yeah. the camera today. <laughs> oh, <he's> good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we walk over to your, your stock birds? Yeah. Take oh, a look. Okay, I got, okay. We got to show them that cock bird I like. Yeah, the okay. young, the young, the... Uh, okay, no problem. And again, guys, you see, you see, super quality and pigeon, you need your phone or no? No, no, no. Okay. Remember, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. I'll turn the camera towards me for a sec. That way. We're going to go into a very secret spot. You go into the house, down the stairs, into the basement. Then there's another basement. You go down those stairs, and there's a vault. When you get into the vault, okay, the code is 696913. Okay? <laughs> you push that code in. You're going to see, you might lose service. You hear? You hear how the doors are. We're going into the basement. It's very spooky in here. Oh, it always smells good, though, in here. Remember, if it cuts out because of Facebook, guys, I don't really care because you'll always watch us on the rebroadcast. Breeding loft? Breeding loft, yes. Where do you sleep? Where's, <laughs> where's your bed? On the other side. On the other side. <laughs> Down in the basement we go. Man, individual pens. Yeah. What makes you do the individual? This is my guy here. This yeah. is him. <laughs> yeah, I like don't know him. why. I like him. He's full of character, this pigeon. Who is he? Uh, golden Eye. He's uh, the son of my golden pair. Yeah. Golden pair. Yeah. He, super character pigeon. Yeah. And the three sisters from, uh, from him, I pair it always on Ghost. Ghost is, uh, he bring me the, the, the final winner in the one loft race in Poland. He bring me the number five from 27,000. He bring me also the number eight from 29,000. And uh, yeah. And guys, you see how he does it. You are a man that works very smart, not hard. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. work hard, yeah, but, but smart. You see, I come only in the in the lofts. I come only for uh, take uh, the 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 babies. No, the the what you say when the hands like eggs. The I'm egg. sorry. You take the eggs away. No, for the, the nest balls. The nest balls. I take it inside, and then I go one time inside for do the ring on the youngsters. Finish. And and, and can we see the cock? Can you yeah. you can show it to him. You're you're. You got your cat in here, which is good. Cat way down in the in the vault, guys. You're in the vault, and you see how he builds the cut, pen. Cut, 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 and once, cut, cut, cut. And as you can see, guys, this is your individual breeding pen. Roughly, how 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 large is this pen? What would you say? How what's the size? Oh, it, it's about uh, two meters twenty, and. Uh, yeah, it's it. You see, it's very big for one pair. I don't like because a lot of people ask me, "What's there?" This is there is nothing. Look, it's beautiful. If if, yeah. if if you had a lot yeah. of kids, if they're bad, you put them in there. Yeah, but listen, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, use for this bag maybe one, two, three pairs. Yeah. But you you must also know when they are all so small. They must also have a little bit space and a little bit feeling good and not so breeding, breeding, breeding in a small... No, 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 no. impossible. And, and I say, you can see the character and the quality of these pigeons. They're happy in here. Yeah, really. Yeah, they yeah. have a lot of room. Look at him. You fly him? No, he was the, he was the last son of my breeding pair. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I fly him, I fly him not a long time. Listen, he fly two times the first and, and uh, in the beginning of the year in May, June. And on this time, I have not one youngster anymore from his father. I have three, four times bad eggs and then I, I take him out of the team because I don't want to lose him because it's, I like him so much. Now, when you're, when you're handling a pigeon yeah. and you, you're looking, what are you looking for? What, when, you, when, you pick a, when you go maybe to an auction yeah. and you see all the birds in the pen, is it something you look for particularly? Yeah, uh, the, the balance is, 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 is very important in my opinion. The balance from the pigeon, but also the wing. I like, I like a really a good ventilation on the end from the wing. And ventilation, you mean yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah. the, the gap between? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. exactly. And then also that he gives that you must not do this. Oh, he go open. No, the wing must this is. You like it easy? Yeah, he must okay. win with this. He have just two wings. That will mean so supple, you know. Yes. I like a lot. And also, I do also a lot of attention on this. Maybe it's something from my grandfather. But you must look in, in not a lot of lofts you, fan, you find it anymore. Look. The white, the white color in the tail. Look. Okay. It's like snow, so white. I like it really a lot. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You know, underneath a pigeon in, in here, yeah. under, uh, underneath the tail. Yeah. Do you like it if you see a breeder with a white tail? Does that mean something? No. I have. Uh, to no. me, I. I'm I've, sorry. I've, no. Okay. You, no. All right. I'm not interested in this. Okay. But how did you come up with this white on the on the edge of the tail? You, from your grandfather? Yeah. For my grandfather, yeah. Uh, and also, I like also that, that, that look, I try to, to, you see what he, he, he pulls. Yeah. He don't like that you do, it's, it's something means from his character. Uh, look. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about if a pigeon is big, deep? Yeah. I, is that okay? It's okay. Yeah. It, it doesn't it bother doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, the, 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 the best way to find it is a good one is racing, racing, racing with the youngsters. And, and you can bring the two best pigeons from your love. It's not, uh, it's not a guarantee that you have good youngsters. Because they're inside. You do nothing. You don't, you know, don't, you nothing. don't know the brain or the heart. Yeah. Guys, if you have questions, exactly. first of all, please, now's the time. This show works best if you communicate. But I, look, I do also attention on the pigeon. Look. Look at the back. Look. Super balanced, eh? When he do this, opens up, or oh, we open him up, no good. Then I say it's a good pigeon when I must clean my glasses. I have nothing else. I clean with his tongue. <laughs> yeah. hey, you see it, and you, you'll see when he lets the cock out how happy they are in here. Come. You take a look, and you see this, and when do you start pairing up? Uh, after uh, 
14 days. Yeah. You see the health? Ready to go, man. Yeah. Ready to go, ready to go. Main pigeons. Hey, can we see the guy at the end? Your big winner. Ah, the first national boat. First national, here we go. He was the first national from 45,000 pigeons on 500 kilometers and he fly a hit uh, five minutes. Come. Five minutes ahead. Ahead, I'm sorry, yeah. I... Again, I tell you, Stefan's house is so big that his, this down in the bottom of the house, way below, he's got so much room, it's fantastic. <laughs> It's a mansion, man. So this is first national? First national from 45,000. First national, 45,000. Nice cock, eh? Yeah. He's super, he got super feathers. In, in, in the auction come one son. One, guys, we told you. This guy has, this, oh, someone writes. Uh, Will, he writes, this guy is a straight shooter. Most are not like him. Guys, this, I told you. He's a straight shooter. He doesn't do auctions, but I met him in Poznan, and I asked him then, in 2018, the man kept his word. So there you see. Uh, how many, do you breed, uh, how many years have you been breeding from him, this guy? From him, uh, just uh, last year, three youngsters, and this year, four youngsters. Okay. And, and his son, his son, you will see it on the pedigree, his son, uh, he, he's the first ace in the big club, and he wins all three times the first. Yeah. So and and the, the the sister, also a daughter of him, she fly nine on oh the, the, the cock fly also nine on nine. The sister from him from the second round fly nine on nine. She make not one time the first, but she make four times in the first five for more than thousand pigeons. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it's really top really. And and uh the question, if you have a pigeon, how long does he stay at your loft if he doesn't... How many seasons do you give him of breeding? Maximum. Maximum. Three. Maximum. Eh? Three seasons. Most of all, two. <laughs> but okay. Look at him. This is really a fantastic pigeon, really. Fantastic. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, of course. Uh, when, when you fly, you, you must know when he fly this, this day, the first national, in the first... 20, you can check it on, uh, on the results uh, on PIPA. You find the national, then you, you can check it what I tell you now. Uh, uh, in the first 24 pigeons were uh, 11 times number one there from another loft. And also in each province. That will mean he fly five minutes ahead. Five minutes ahead. Uh, he fly five. How many, how many thousand pigeons? Uh, 45,000 pigeons. <laughs> that will mean he start and he go on his own. For super, sure. Super fast machine. Yeah. He, and he's a nice cock. Yes. Very lucky, eh? Very intelligent also. And, and I, I asked Stefan, I said, how much is a pigeon like this? How, how do you sell these pigeons? Is, can you put a price on a pigeon like this? No. You can't. It, it, they're, they're, I don't want, I want. No, I, I, but they're, they're, money can't buy this. No, impossible. Impossible. Good morning. Good morning from Trinidad. Good morning. Yeah, from Trinidad, you see? Okay. The people, guys, if you tune in and you ask the man questions, don't be scared. He's not going to bite. There's only one person he's going to yell at. It's going to be me. <laughs> but there you see, first national, 45,000 pigeons. Character, eh? That is really beautiful. He's, he's nice. Now, I notice you have these individual pens. Yeah. So these are your favorites. Yeah. Then we have on this side, and I, and I love how you did you did this, man. You do everything easy, boy. Yeah. On, <laughs> on the end, you think I'm too lazy. No, it's not lazy. This is like this is how. You know what? It's working smarter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you have the drinkers out here. You put your feet in. And also the band clean it. Uh, the bands to yeah. clean it. So everything's automatic cleaning. I noticed in the grates, under the grates, you put the granulars. Yeah. So loft very dry. Yeah. No, very dry. I mean, no never, smell of pigeon. No. Nice, nice air. No, never smile on air. No. I don't want. Also for yourself, I don't want to uh, smell pigeons and everything. No, 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 no. And they get all, these breeders get all they can eat. Yeah, all the time. Do, yeah. Now, do you use this mix for breeding right here? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Anything in the water for the breeders? No, nothing. 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 I'm sorry. Nothing. <laughs> 
And, <laughs> and these cocks are as good as them? Just these are your favorites? Yeah, yeah, these are my favorites, but, but you must know this is, I do it always like this. This line is, is most of all the Iron Man line. And, and they fly. And, and tell them about Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man, because uh, you will see it in, in a lot of pedigrees. Uh, you have the, the father of Iron Man is the brother of Finneke 5000 Flor Vervoort. Right. And, and, and the mother of Iron Man is Parel Woods. Woods is also an old strain in Belgium. And uh, Maurice Woods, he have a, a, a special uh, pigeon, was the Lichte Boers. And from this Lichte Boers, I have a daughter. I buy a daughter and pair it to the Finneke line. And there are all, all these pigeons win at least one first provincial. Okay. Also, and, and Iron Man himself, mm -hmm. he win in 2011. I sent two pigeons to the race. And he win uh, the first national zone, and he fly also 20 minutes ahead. 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 Yeah, yeah. What? So amazing. But you must know, I tell you something very short. Maybe is interested or not. Oh, and, go ahead. And then, tell us. then we come that I, I uh, not uh, a fencer with a lot of pigeons. I have not any problem. Don't uh, understand me wrong. I have not any problem with uh, pigeon fencers. They have a lot of pigeons. You like it? You yeah, because because when I have a problem, then I must breed also two, three, or four hundred. Right. But this is this is everybody's his style. But my style is. I sent uh, 10 years ago two pigeons to Barcelona for a joke because there was a man in my club. He always asked, hey, Stefan, when you send the pigeon to Barcelona? I say, wow, leave me alone. And then every week, hey, Stefan, I say, OK, I sent one pigeon to Barcelona. OK, good. I sent one pigeon to Barcelona. You will find it. Don't worry. Uh, she, she make the first national number four with the hands and the number 13 national to whole Belgium. Then the year later, I sent two pigeons to Montabo, 850 kilometer, two pigeons. Iron Man make the first. In 2017, I sent two pigeons to Narbonne. I make the first national. Eugene Stabel from Netherlands, he says, greeting Stefan. You know Eugene from uh, Stabel? Oh, ah, yeah, 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 hey. He, yeah. he says hi. Hey. Hey. More comments, any more comments? Oh, lots of, uh, put your questions in. Yes, guys. Put Congratulations your... uh, to Mr. Stabel with uh, what he do in the one ra loft race. Eh? Yeah. Ah, Fantastic, hey. eh? Yeah. Now, questioning, question, what do you think of one loft racing? Yeah, uh, for the future is, is uh, in my opinion, go more and more and more. I think this is the future for uh, a lot of pigeon fencers. I like it also. But uh, I, I, find, I find not really on the moment the, the way for racing like Mr. Stabel. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because in my opinion, maybe I'm wrong, you can say it. But this is a, a, another pigeon in a one loft race than in your place at home. The, Dif the, different. Yeah, it's, different. It's different. Yeah, yeah. And, and you, you think it's good, <laughs> which is great. Uh, question, we have people from Missouri saying, hey, Brian, hey, from Missouri. Uh, Rosedale Loss asks, is all of your breeding done inside? Yeah. So this here, this is it, all we're in the basement of his house. Yeah. He's got a peaked, it's beautiful. Quite, it's quite simply uh, the way I would do this. So all the breeding is done in all here. All the breeders are here. Do you breed out of your race birds? Uh, no. 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 They have eggs? They have uh, babies? No. No. Nothing. Listen, that is what I tell you in front. Uh, I select very hard on the, on the cocks, on the young cocks. Mm -hmm. I raise really very hard system. Uh, when you, you survive, you're really good. And it's not enough. You must uh, win. Otherwise, you cannot stay. Uh, the hands, I breed never. A lot of people say it's stupid. Okay, that's not my problem. This is the, pe the people problem. Uh, the, the hands... I use this system of from 2015. In 2015, I win one and two, nine, 18, 27 national from 25,000. Uh, and from this day off, I, I breed not anymore with the hands. Maybe, but it's, it's my opinion. When I not breed, I, I race in three years with the hands. When I not breed, they are not pairing. Okay. So, uh Brian Mansker from the United States asks, Stefan, yeah, how yeah. often do you change hens on a cock? So let's take 
Okay. Let's yes. take one of these guys. I How often are you switching? I, I learned this. I learned this from my friend. Uh, uh, yeah, he's my brother now because I, I say not anymore friend from Taiwan. Uh, he came in 2015, the first time in my loft. Yes. And then he's really a special guy. Really, he was also, he was in the States f uh, in 84 and to the university. And he learned from, from chicken and, and, and like this. And then he said to me on one moment, you can breed maximum, maximum four times or five times in the year from a cock. What I do now is, now the hens come on the cocks. I breed. They must, uh, I, I do now also attention, I take not the eggs anymore away. They, they feed the youngster. And in the second round, the hen go very, very early with the youngster uh, to another place. Then I separate uh, the cock for uh, 14 days, three weeks. And then I give him two times another hen and finish. And, and that's how you do it? That's how I do it. And these cocks here, how do you do these guys? It's same? exactly the same. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of work. No, not any work. <laughs> no, no. You, and you've got these boxes, they're, they're perfectly done. Yeah. The cocks pair, uh, the, each cock has a box. Now, yeah. how does the cock from here yeah. make it into here? How does he do it? This is, this is a little bit uh, different because also a lot of family is here. Most of all the, the, the older breeders are here. And then I try, I try already a youngster here one or two years. Mm -hmm. And when he breed again good, then I think the youngster and I bring him there. Uh, that's the way. And also, yeah, my first national winners, they're always here. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, guys, this is a very proper setup. He makes it, it's easy. I'll tell you, if I was to build a breeding loft, guys, this is how I would do it. And it's also, nice. You can look at the pigeons. You don't have to be, uh, you know, right in on them. How big are these, these pens? I mean, geez, they got to be uh, eight, 10 feet, 10 by 10? 10? 10 feet by 10 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Something like and, this. And yes. good, you see, they get the light. Unbelievable. Yeah, also when, when in winter time it's very cold, uh, it must be minus, minus 13, minus 14 before it's freezing. Freeze here, yeah. yeah. Freezing. Uh, anything you give special to the breeders? I'm sorry, no. Nothing. <laughs> no. Nothing. No. No. Nothing. You know, when, uh, when the pigeons come uh, by youngsters, then I give, uh, I give I'm sorry, uh, two, two times, three times in the week, uh, the call. Okay. Yeah, for the liver and everything. And I give also, I do attention on the minerals. I do never something on the food. No. Uh, because, yeah, it's my opinion. But I give also a lot of minerals and, uh, from, from Belgica de Weert, a lot. And uh, again, again guys, you see how he has the drinkers. The birds just come up, put their heads through. Yeah. The individual breeders. He's got, it's all right there. Yeah, Grits, you open feeds, it. you see. Feed. All like that. Now, uh, I find also something very nice. I see it uh, because I'm a very uh, good friend of, of Peter Embrecht Steunis. Mm -hmm. And his son, he sell uh, the stone and everything for the pigeons. But he do it in a, a pallet. In a pallet. Okay. And now I finish from this year. I go not anymore give this apart and this apart and this apart. I show it's, you. It's all in it's, one, guys. Yeah, it's all in one. It's so convenient. Look, I do it always like this. Everything is inside. Okay. It's so convenient and and the pigeons the the, the pigeons they they there go nothing on on the floor anymore of nothing. It's I do it always like this. Look, I take one. Okay, hold on. Slow down. Slow yeah. down. One. one. One feed. Yeah. One feed goes in inside. And then I do one. One scoop, guys, look, one scoop, yeah. In. In. Oh, it smells like heaven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, and that's it. That's it. And you can start. Feed, that's it. Rob Wong, it appears that. Finished. You clean the loft. The loft. You know, oh. it's, 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 it's so convenient. You see it also when I talk with you. Mm -hmm. If we do something else, in this time, I, I, I give the pigeons feed. I feed yeah. the pigeons. 
I must not go do this and this. No, finish. Okay, so who, 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 right, okay, Rob Wong says this. Let's listen to what his question, is this a question or a statement? I don't know. It appears that you clean the lofts of the white, you clean the lofts of the brackets white powder that comes off the bird's feathers. How often do you dust the loft for the white powder? You know the... Yeah, yeah, I understand very well what you say. Uh, I do it after the breeding season. Mm -hmm. I, I, everything go out. Everything. All the birds out, yeah. yes. Yeah, the birds, everything go out. Uh -huh. And I take the, the water. Water? With, 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 with Pressure water. Yeah. And I clean everything, finish, and for one year it's finished. For one year. So he, he does a complete clean out for one year. Uh, again, underneath the granule, uh, underneath those grates is the granules. Yeah, every, ev after every round of pigeons go on, on uh, underneath. The, yeah, go out. Go out. And I, I make new. How long do you leave the young pigeons in here that you breed? Uh, 24 days. 24 days. Yeah. They come out at 24 days. Yeah, then they go to the, the, to the racing loft. If you breed a youngster, a pair of babies come out of a nest. It doesn't matter out of any of these pairs. And one youngster looks a little runty, a little small. Immediately killed. Immediately killed. Immediately. No second chance. You, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know exactly what he mean. I, I need, uh, I, I know four, five things on a young pigeon. Uh, uh, what I, I tell you now, it's look like he's got or what? No, but I tell you something. My brother in Taiwan, it's it's so a clever guy as he is never when the youngsters are in the nest in taiwan he have when they are they do the ring on and they are eight days out he give 10 points he look to 10 points to a youngster 10 points 10 points what are the 10 points yeah i'm sorry i don't know <laughs> he look he look to the boon and he look uh, one, two, yeah. uh, maybe the little yellow feathers on the head. Yes, the, and the, the this is one thing. Have there enough? Have, uh, he yes. goes two, three times to the day, and then he, he feel immediately to the boon. It looks like crazy, but he say always like this: When I have not this this ten points, he kill a lot of these youngsters. When I have not this ten points, I kill him. I do the ring on on eight days. I must be sure. Otherwise, I have. It's 250 euro for one ring, eh? Yeah. And it's finished, eh? So he, he doesn't want to waste his money. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so Rosedale Lofts. Rosedale says, so breeding youngsters now, when will you start to loft fly and train? So these guys are going to, you're going to put them together next week. Yeah. You're going to have babies by January the 1st. Yeah. yeah. You're going to band them. Yeah. 20, 24 days old, 22 days old. You take them out, you wean them. Yeah, it's easy. After uh, after eight weeks, they must flying. After twelve weeks, they go on 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 fifty kilometers. Right, because you can start racing young pigeons when here in Belgium. Yeah, uh, in uh, on the end of May. End of June, May. Yeah, in the beginning June May. Yeah, yeah. So the, you never keep pigeons locked in. They they go out. Yeah, yeah. Right, right from start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They learn to ride the bicycle yeah, right away. Immediately. Yeah. Okay, David Tracy says, how many years do you let birds breed? And do you breed old cocks to young hens or old hens to young cocks? Yeah, yeah, I do it. Uh, doesn't matter how old they are. I, I, I'm always laughing when, when people come in my place. Oh, he's old, 10 years old. Okay, but you must know, I tell you last year, uh, I tell you last week, uh, my very old breeder, he was 18 years old. But when he was 16 years old, he gave the number three national from 18,000 and the first provincial. Uh, 18 year old. No, uh, no, he, he, he died when he was 19 years. He have really five, six youngsters. I think five, I'm not sure when he was 18 years, but when he was 15 years old, he breed the first provincial, the number three national uh, uh, Bursch. So Ricardo writes this question. Okay, maybe he misunderstood. Yeah? He says, why does Stefan only breed birds only a maximum of two to three years? Is it a reason? No, no, no. I think what he's saying is when you breed, he takes how many rounds out of your breeders in a year, roughly? Maximum four. Maximum four. So he takes four rounds. And the reason for this is 
The quality must be there. And and guys, you think that a cockbird just treads a hen every hot hour, treads a hen, treads a hen. Right. You try it yourself. Yeah. You're going to be tired, aren't you? <laughs> We're going to so. test this theory out. So, uh, you're going to try it out. <laughs> How many hours can you go? We're going to st- <laughs> No, but uh No, but uh, And and you will breed Listen, uh, I, in, in, uh, I start and I was very successful with the line of Super Walter. And one time, Hank de Weert from Belgica de Weert, he come in my place. He said, wow, what a fantastic pigeon. He gave me two national winners and one national winner in zone in three years. How many youngsters you have, Stephen? He said, from this uh, Super Walter. I said, yeah, maybe five, six. You're crazy. You must breed minimum 25 this year because this gene is the most important. Okay, I start breeding, breeding, breeding. You, you tried it. Yeah, and then uh, I have, I think, 21 on the end. And, and after young, youngsters, seven, eight, the quality, the quality go like this. Down. And, and, and one and a half year, one and a half year, a year later, uh, Super Walter don't do it anymore. Finish. And, and and here's the thing, he he didn't even that pigeon didn't raise them. All he did was tread the hens. Yeah, yeah. And the quality still goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear this from a lot of people. You can't overdo it. No. Don't be greedy. This is. I, I say again, I have no problem with, uh, with pigeon fencers, their, their sale, of course not, of their breeding, of course not. But it cannot be that you breed two, three rounds and the quality after round 10 is just so good like... Like, uh, like first. Yeah, impossible. And, and it's common sense. Uh... I will discuss with whole the world from this because I have experience with this. When I, I do it uh, one year ago with my super breeder, yeah, I yes. do it one year ago, and I have the three sisters. I bring them to him. Uh, he leg first eggs, I do it away. The second eggs, I do it away. A new a new sister, again two eggs away, again two eggs away. Round three, very short time. I have really very short time. Uh, eight, uh, two, four, eight, twelve youngsters of him with three hands. And then I start with racing, eh? and from my first round, the two pigeons were, were in the best five from my loft, and from the last, I have not one anymore in my loft. Why? Why? I don't know. And, and guys, you can see here how Stefan keeps the pigeons. Uh, he re- you know what I will say? You respect them. When they get yeah. here to yeah. this part, they have nothing but respect. You take care of them. You, you must also know when, when, of course, I buy also uh, every year a, a couple hands, uh, most of all hands. But, but you must know when a pigeon come in this loft first, that must, must be exceptional quality, otherwise they cannot. They must have a good result also, mm-hmm. but they go also in quarantine. Because 10 years ago I make a mistake, I will never forget it. But okay, I tell you what I do. Mm-hmm. The pigeon, the pigeon, the pigeon, uh, they go in quarantine. I give everything to the pigeon for coccidios, for trichomonas. I give injection for paramixo. I give injection for rota and circo. Everything I do. Then they, they, they can stay in this quarantine for, I say something, one month. And then they come to the every here with the breeders. And from this moment, also with, with any pigeon here, a medicine is not used here when the, you're 10 years, in 10 years not one medicine, it's finished. So you treat them once, w- when I s- when When I see one youngster and he have a problem with, with, with the air or something when they're young, and he, he have again one, he must immediately away, immediately. Okay, uh, Rob Wong, okay, well first thing Rosedale asks, Rosedale Law says, is, is, is that similar to the Byers or the Versalaga all in one grid? N- no. They different. Have, yeah, it's different. You find it never. You uh, find this you, never. You find this ne- not. No. Okay, so it's, it's totally different. Yeah. Uh, Rob Wong from Calgary, Alberta. Welcome back, Rob Wong. When it comes to minerals, do you give sel- selenium and zinc specifically? No. And how often? No, it's 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 all in this uh, it's it's in in this Belga Biovit is inside, also in in, in the Sidocol is also. Is, uh, I do this never specific, never, no. Oh, also we got a Chris, 
Clairbot from Belgium. Yeah. I can't read this. Maybe you can. <laughs> oh. What is he asking? Al jaren mijn vrouw en mijn jongen zijn nog mooi. Ja. I, I, I explain it. I, I fuck all years with my woman and, and, my, and my sons or daughters are beautiful. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. He's, 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 uh, we're going to have to test him out. We're going to let him try it out. Yeah. Anyways, Chris, uh, nice to see you on. Guys, great questions with, with Stefan. What else do I got to ask you? Is there any secrets to pigeon flying? Come on, what's something? What's something that people... Oh. Any secrets? Listen, uh, uh, in my opinion, but this is really my opinion, I tell you in front, it's very important first, good pigeons on the end, good pigeons. The second is also in Belgium, doesn't matter in, 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 in Holland or Dutch, is, is different, in whole the world is different, but I tell it once again, the day that the pigeons come back, then it's the most important where, where you live, and the wind direction. Wind direction. When the wind does not go to your place, you can have the best pigeon in whole Belgium. You cannot win, my friend. Unpossible. No. That's the reason I say always, a lot of people laughing with this, but this is not my problem. When you raise in your club, there start everything. This is the start. When you win there, you win everywhere, in my opinion, when you have the wind. But I mean, when you raise in your club, is everybody around you in the same club on the same flight this day? Then you must not say somebody live five kilometers from your place. Oh, I cannot win because his location is better. Fuck, this is not true. <laughs> Hi, you're real. This is what I like. And, and uh, it's okay. We know the wind plays a factor. You, when it's your time to win and the wind is with you, you got to be at the top. Yeah. I get that. Your pigeons, your, your family of pigeons, do they race good in tailwinds with the wind behind them? Good? Your pigeons? Yeah, you, you must find a way that you have pigeons in Belgium for sure. In a one loft race is a little bit different, but in Belgium you start on 100 or 120 kilometer. And to the end of the races in September, you have one time tailwind, you have one uh, time wind on the nose, you have one time wind blows from the east and they must fly to the east. That will mean you must complete pigeons that can fly with tailwind, with, with, with headwind, with everything other ways. You cannot win. When you, when, when, you, when you breed, exactly very good, strong pigeons, they're always there with the wind on, on, on the nose. Yeah. And then you have three, four national race, and the speed is 1,700 meters where you are. You cannot win, eh? Hey, you're saying it as it is, and I'm not disagreeing with you. Will asks, what, uh, how do you keep your hens? I, I'm taking he means stock hens. How are they kept? Uh, do you keep them... In, in the same type of a loft, like this, the hens. Yeah, the hens come here, but okay, but the hens come only here. They're racing three years, and only the best come to here. Only the best come. Only the best. And they just, in a big aviary, they just sit out? Yeah, they sit outside in a, in a very, the whole day outside, also nighttime outside in a big aviary. Everything's yeah. in an aviary. Yeah. These pigeons here, do you give them baths? Of course. How often will you? Every week. Every week. Yeah, yeah. Once a week? One time in you the week. You use anything in the water, bath salts? Never. You're, Nothing. You're crazy for what? I don't know. I was I'm just asking. Maybe some special shampoo? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> when, when, when you wash yourself every day with shampoo, every day. I don't ever use it. Oh, okay. Take a look at how good our hair looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason. <laughs> that's one of the reasons. I'll tell you now the reason. And that's, I, I don't need it for a, for a, in a bed for the pigeon. One time, there was a, a lot of things to do on the television from wash and go big reclaim for shampoo for your hair right i buy it immediately i wash and my hair is go hey come on <laughs> so you was a joke no okay. i no you listen i can already tell you don't use salt in the water for the bath nothing no. it's just water do you yeah. use hot water cold water uh, always cold always cold and i use never never from uh, i use always from outside Always that, that, that coming from, from the, rain. the rain. Yeah, always. So you have a bucket collects rainwater. Yeah, you see it. I think uh, okay. in the front is there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So never from the ne tap. No. Never. Always rainwater. Yeah. Why always. is this? There is not a lot of what you say, calc, iron, uh, cal cal calcium, uh, uh, acid. 
I don't know. Yeah, Acid it's rain? not. A, yeah, it's not in the water, and that that make that the pigeons stay all say all uh, all the time uh, very uh, yeah very good in 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 condition because I I don't want this water uh, for a bat. Now you you've traveled all over the world for pigeons. Uh, mm -hmm. You've been to you've been to China yeah. and, and Taiwan and that. Yeah. Uh, uh, your pigeons do very well there. Yeah. They do, they do well. Maybe. I don't know. May <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Oh, David Tracy says, who are some of the biggest, who are, your, who are some of your big competitors that you fly against? If you're going to drop names, drop some names. I Go ahead. I never use names. Don't worry. He doesn't no, use no, names. No, no, no. Guys, what, uh, we're going to explain this one time. You like winning national races, right? Yeah. You like to fly in the nationals. Yeah, this is the, yeah. Guys, like this, this cock right here, his first national, 45,000. Doesn't national mean all of Belgium? Yeah, it's the whole Belgium. Guys, any loft that you see in Belgium that flew on that day, he's competing against. Hmm. So we couldn't drop one name because we'd be here a long time. How many flyers are in Belgium? <laughs> yeah, before, I don't know on the moment, uh, for 10 years before, 33,000. But now I don't know because it go down and down and down all so the time. So maybe 20, 15, 20,000 yeah, maybe? I, I'm sorry, I cannot. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I don't know. Really not. I but, cannot but say. But we can't drop names, guys. To win these races, you see, this is professional flying. You, you're yeah. out here to fly pigeons. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a lot of fencers, uh, good fencers know how hard you must work in the season for, for, for have results because... Uh, uh, it's not not so easy for winning. This is for sure, and you cannot order that you go winning. Don't worry. There's a guy on our show. His name's Premier League. He must be a fan of the Premier League. You know, yeah, the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, Premier League. Yeah. He says, "Whoa, this must be a new building. I have seen the red brick lofts outside, but never seen this setup." Well, because because Premier League. I go the distance, baby. I go the extra mile to show you the good shit. Look, we just learned about how he lost his hair with the bad shampoo he bought online. <laughs> so the, the competition is fierce. Now, let me ask you, because you're playing in Belgium and you see a lot of things around the world. Do you think Belgium has the, is the best pigeon country? No. For racing? No, 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 no. Uh, I think not. I, I, I was in many countries. Uh, I was not in the States. I'm sorry. I, I cannot say how, how are the pigeons there. But the most professional that I see, but it's my opinion, I say it again, my opinion is in Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you fly here in Belgium. Which yeah, but, but you must <laughs> know the start. Everybody say uh, Belgium is the mecca from, from the, the pigeon sport. It's, it's really... Uh, yeah, everybody know Belgium for the pigeons, but it started many, many years ago. And one of the reasons that it started wa was uh, later after the war, because on this time nobody have pigeons anymore, just the Janssen brothers. And then it started, and that's also one of the reason after the war the the Janssen brothers were so famous because everybody must go to there for pigeons. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. But but I think. The last years, and, and, and a lot of people know also in Germany, and in, 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 you see it in the one loft races uh, in Germany, Holland, everywhere are good pigeons. Many years ago, you cannot find, but uh, yeah, with the auctions and everything, and then maybe some people have a little bit more money, they buy a good one, and, and one time will match it, because when you see a pedigree, it come always back when you have Right, uh, question for you, and this is from Rosedale Lofts. Do OLR bird keeps calling, I gotta cut him off. Okay, let's reread this. Yeah. Do OLR birds that, oh wait, wait, do OLR birds of his that do well, do you bring them back into your breeding program? So I'm gonna say, you've, have you, you've flown some one loft races, correct? Yeah, yeah. Let's say you win, um, the one in Mediterranean or Algarve? No, I, I win the, the, the final in, in, uh, in Poland. I buy immediately back. You buy immediately yeah. back? I have last year the number 9 in Romania. I buy back. Buy back. I, I have last year the number 17 final race, Poland. I buy back. Yeah. I told you guys, this guy's a, a, a machine. Yeah. No, and, it's not a machine. And, but, uh, and you bring them back, you breed out of them, 
And they have to produce the same like all these. Yeah, listen, yeah, I, I do it. But I do it also uh, because I try to create a, a, a pigeon that's that going to win one day. Uh, uh, I say something in Algarve of South Africa or something. Because I buy also the two brothers from the winner uh, from, from uh, the one loft race in Poland. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the, the two brothers because I let them go the winner and I'm really, I'm really disappointed uh, later that I not buy them because the name from this uh, pigeon was Moonraker and the, the buyer was Simons of Holland and he have a lot of a lot ace pigeons in Algarve everywhere in the one loft races. That's one of the reasons I buy my pigeons back. I pair it to these pigeons, and now from next year, I'm gonna send everywhere to the one loft race. And there's I'm gonna try. And you it. have Americans, big name Americans, wanting your pigeons as well. Yeah, yeah. We're, again, here we're not here to drop names. You guys figure out who I'm talking about. But hey, we have Ricardo from Trinidad. He says in Trinidad we race over a lot of water, 150 to 220 miles of water. Do you ever have your birds tested in this way? Have you ever flown your pigeons over water? No, no. Not no. yet. But, but I buy, this is in the last, the last 15 years, is there one pigeon in, in, uh, in, in Ireland that win, that win the golden medal two times. And there is, they, they fly 150 miles over water, then 130 miles on the land, then again 120 miles over the water, and then again about 200 miles on the land. I buy this pigeon. You buy him back. Yeah. Your, it's not your pigeon. You just No, I, I buy him because this is in 15 years, it's not happening that the pigeon win this two years on the road. I buy this pigeon for cross for my future for the one loft race. There you go. He's, he's looking, look at, he's always looking to the future. This is why <laughs> I like this guy. Next question Rob Wong asks So, is your drinking water also rainwater? No, 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 never. Never. No, 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 just no. give him. Yeah. Rainwater for the bass, yeah, Rob. Yeah, don't, yeah. Uh, Rob, no, if you no, want to no, try no. drinking some rainwater, that's on you. No. Uh, Dave Crozier from Canada, he says soft rainwater. Yeah, the water is yeah, soft. soft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's one of the reasons, in my opinion, the the, the feathers are, are so soft. Okay, rainwater. Because this there is nothing inside the rainwater. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I okay. Premier says I think Stefan has won 11 first. Nationals. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is he wrong? Please uh, tell me he's wrong. Yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's together with the zona, together with. Zona. So he's done. You've won eleven. The, uh, eleven with eleven zonas and five real national uh, to hold Belgium. Yeah. There you go, Premier. You're getting the answers you want. Uh, Papa, Taiwan, right? Uh, he's right. So you say that Taiwan is you think the most professional? In, in my opinion, yeah. And Poppy, he thinks uh, that you're 100% right. Uh, what is, okay, Jorge asks, and I, hopefully I got your name right. If I got it wrong, hey guys, I have a hard time reading. I'm slightly dyslexic and I'm a little bit slow, but I can hold the camera straight. You know, you're getting tired, aren't you? No. You're I, running out of gas. Come on, I'm not tired from this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is the treat, uh, treatments during the breeding season by pills? Do you give pills? You're crazy or what? No. No, no pills? No. No, no vitamin pills? No. Nothing? Nothing. Guys, and you see, I mean, you come in here, it's music. Hey, come on. I, I, I give, no, I do never attention on this. When, when, you must know there are a lot, a lot of corns in Belgium. A lot of different, different uh, makers for corn. They, they are so beautiful food, yeah? And then together with all these minerals and, and everything, you, you don't need pills. For, when, when you have an old cock, maybe he's 10 or 15 years old, then sometimes I do something with, with, with oil. But, but no, no, hey, come on. No, 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 no. Uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Emil Imando something. Tell us something about middle distance pigeons. Is there anything you know about middle distance pigeons that we got to know? <laughs> no. No? I tell you in front, uh, my pigeons start on 120 kilometers and end on, on, on 800, 900. And uh, yeah, racing, racing, racing. And on the end, you, you, you choose the best. Uh, and yeah. it's by racing. Yeah, it's by racing. The yeah, the type is a little bit off different from the type because in the first loft, 
And that's one of the reasons in the first law of the nine, the nine cogs, there is more for between uh, 120 and, and, and 400. And in the middle is, is my, my, my middle distance pigeons, they fly between four and 500. And the Iron Man, they like because every, every brother of Iron Man win one provincial on 620 and more. Every brother there. First provincial Limoges, first provincial Brief, all these races, and then, yeah, then all the youngsters come together because they must fly from 120 to the last. Yeah, that uh, will, will, but that, that will also say what you ask me in front. Uh, the pigeons, what you like, of how you do it with, with wind on the nose, of wind uh, on the tail. That, that's what I tell you. You need in Belgium any strain for short, for middle, and, and, well, and, and for heavy middle. Well, I will say, will, uh, William asks, yeah. when... Is he coming to the States? I would love to meet him. Guys, I'm going to make you this promise. And I'm going to do this on camera because I'm an asshole. This is something I do. It took me since 2018. I met him. I met him with my dad. Uh, I liked him as soon as I met him. Great character. Good pigeon man. I handled the pigeons. I liked them. I got, I got a chance to come here. Hold on. He gave me the opportunity. He does not do... He does not do auctions ever. He did one on PIPA way long time ago. Uh, yeah. That's the only one. T uh, ten years ago. Ten years ago. This is his first time back in auction. If this goes well, guys, if you show him the support, you show him that you like these pigeons, I will bring him. And I'm going to ask him right now on camera. If, we ha if it goes good, you enjoy it, it's number one. I want to take this man to the United States, put him in a room, 20 pigeons from this guy, and guess what? You're going to get the seminar of a lifetime mm -hmm. from you. Okay. We're good to go? Yeah. Okay. Guys, but if you want to see him live in the United States or in Canada or in Mexico, you're going to have to dig deep when this auction comes up. I'm going to tell you that right now because I tell you, he's a busy man. Every time I'm here, it's just pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Yeah, the I'm phone ringing. You got all I'm, I'm the whole day. Sometimes my wife, when she's one day not go to her job, then she say, but where you are the whole day? And then I say, yeah, in the pigeon law. Are you crazy or what? I say, yeah. maybe, yeah. <laughs> You're crazy, but hey, you're having fun. Yeah, I like, there is not one day. It's maybe, maybe it's crazy. And, and everybody can say what he want. want uh, pff, fuck the whole world. I do what I want. When I close my door, I close my door. But it's crazy what I tell you now. There is not one day, not one day when the breeders are here that I, I, I take every breeder on this side every day in my hands. Every day. Every day. So, I like it so much. You so know? let me ask you, in all these, because we've talked a lot, and, and I always like to give a little bit of promotion where it's due. Out of these cocks, which one's your favorite? Who's your favorite one? You're going to pick one. Now, a, this is not easy, my friend. Only one. Because they bring me a lot of winners each pigeon. You can only keep one. Ah, okay. <laughs> this one. How come you and me, we have the same choice of pigeons? I don't know. I like him so much, you know. This is your favorite uh, one? Yeah. I like him really a lot. He's perfect in the hands. Yeah, he's, look. He's a dream, isn't he? Wait a second. And the one thing I do, I have noticed about you, when you sell people pigeons, or someone orders a pigeon from you, Yeah and you're sending it to them, you always give the people a nice video, yeah. you show always. the ring, you always. show everything, everything. Yeah. and yeah. you always say, if you're not happy with the quality of the pigeon, yeah. let me know. Yeah, it's, yeah. hey, come on, when, when you work for your money, <laughs> and, 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 and you, you spend money on a pigeon, and you buy a pigeon in an auction, and some people must ask maybe money on the wife, yeah. I don't know, <laughs> but okay, but when you open the box, and you, you cannot say, wow, this is a nice pigeon. Please, let me know, finish, send the ring. I send another off, I send you money back. I don't want it, really not. And, and I think a lot of people know me on this way. Uh, when I say something, it's like I say, finish. And there you see, the, you see the guy there, his favorite. He's got the little boots on his feet. Super character in pigeons. Uh, William guesses the American name. Let me guess, Mike Gannis. I don't have to answer. Yeah, they can hey. guess Mike Gannis. See, there you go. I, I didn't lie, guys. 
And, and what, what a beautiful setup. Is, is my life now? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, I, a breeder guessed. Someone ah, okay. was guessing. Oh, ah, okay. So this is how your, the, this, the system is for breeding. You don't breed out of the race birds. They got to make it to here. Yeah. Guys, any other questions for the man? Stefan has given more than enough time today for you guys live on Facebook to follow the bouncing ball. Uh, Premier says, I came on late. What zone are you, wait. I came on late. Okay. On late. Is, is that zone you are in is breeding pens? Yeah. This part of his loft is, this is all breeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is strictly yeah, yeah. done for yeah, breeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, David Tracy writes, does he like iSign? What does he prefer in an eye? Do you use iSign? You know, reading the eye? Never. You never read the eye. Right, right, right. Why not? Listen, when, uh, the first time when I start with pigeons, and, and actually I start really only pigeons, was in 2004. And when I, when I buy the pigeons there and the old man is loved, he have only uh, six pairs, and I buy I buy the youngsters from him, and they have a lot of, the, like I say, the white eye, the, the yeah, steel eye, the steel eye, steel and that's eye. one of the reasons they are for ninety percent the steel eye, and then I cross with the Iron Man line, and the Iron Man line have the yellow eye, and that's the reason they are a little bit white eye of yellow eye, but eighty percent have really a, a, a white eye, like we say. Rosedale asks, does he come, no, does he cross the different families? Do you cross your families? Yeah, yeah, of course. You have yeah, to. Yeah, you need, yeah, yeah of course. Okay, um, Michael Peevler asks, is this breeding loft heated? Is no, this, never. No, no heat? No, 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 no. No air conditioning? No, nothing. Okay, well, these, these, these no. are the questions they're asking. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> you can ask what you want. Also, not in my, my racing loft. Nothing eating, nothing. Natural. Point. Okay, Rob Wong asks, how often do you scrape the young, loft, young and old bird lofts during the racing season? How often do you scrape the perches and the floor? Yeah, no, you guys are going to have nothing. to wait for the loft tour. He doesn't... Guys, this is all automated. There also is a, yeah. a kelder inside uh, in, the, in the loft. In Everything the you loft. see down here, guys, it's off the ground. It's cleaned out. So there, there's no... Here I do it. I tell you all before, uh, every round, I take it uh, downstairs away and I do new in every, um, every round from the young side. Yes. This is, a, you know what? This is a pretty good question. Mm, okay. Uh, Jorge asks, Stefan, Stefan's loft could be visited by fanciers. So he's asking, are fanciers welcome to visit you? Always, but not here. They come not inside here. Not, not inside here. And guys, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, uh, be honest with you. I'm an asshole. I came a bit late today. I hate being late. I, I got to thank him for allowing me. Oh, but okay. but uh, please make an appointment and uh, don't bother him on Sundays. Because you know what he does on Sundays? He goes and gets his hair shampooed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, very easy guy to talk to. He'll show you the pigeons. You'll enjoy the pigeons. And another thing, never nickel and dime. I think that's cheap. Don't do that to him on, on respect of me because I hate that, eh? When he gives you the price, yeah. the pigeons have done the work, guys. The pigeons have earned their money. Whatever he's... Oh, man, there he is, eh? <laughs> he likes me. Okay, you know what? Let's auction him off, eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Character no. pigeon, character pigeon. <sighs> this has yeah. been fun. Yeah. I want to thank you for doing this. When I show you a, a couple of his daughters, then uh, you're crying. <laughs> then I cry. Yeah. And, and, and this guy's hands, they're bombs. They're so strong, great muscles up front. His pigeons aren't overly big. They look bigger than what they are. And you see the cocks are coming up here. They're, 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 getting, uh, they're getting used to it. Uh, they're getting used to the camera life. But, but what a great setup. And... Uh, Hey, you know, it's funny, when you started racing with your father, you guys, your father couldn't, you guys couldn't win. Well, he, he couldn't win. No, my father, I, I tell you uh, already, my father, I miss him every day. He's passed away now uh, almost nine years, but uh, he was not really a pigeon fencer. But he was, uh, what I say to him, he do. But in his 25 years that he's racing, he win just one first prize in his club. Uh, but I say it once again, I miss him every day. Eh? Yeah, and, and uh, uh, so 
when you retired from playing football and yeah. you you get a you do your thing and you mm -hmm. start to fly pigeons, mm -hmm. you you bring him along for the ride with you. Yeah, all he, the time. He comes. All the time. Yeah, all the time. How does he like it once you start yeah. winning? Yeah, he like a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You must know. I start with my father in 2004, and th this is where I start. And I buy with Van Kam Govars, where I start with these pigeons, and I buy there 12 youngsters. Yeah, and my father have on this time 85 youngsters. And I was pretty new because he said, yeah, this loft on the, on the right side is for you, but don't come in my loft. I say, no, no, no. When I have this loft, it's okay. I have really every week six, seven pigeons before he have one from my 12 and he have 80, 84. Wow, eh? Yeah, then he say on the end, what's wrong? I say, your pigeons are wrong. You must kill. This was the old generation. My father spent not one euro on pigeons. He worked really very hard. He do a lot of attention on his family, on his children. Uh, I'm really thankful my whole life for my father, of course. But he never spent one euro on a pigeon. And when you, you, you think you have the best pigeons in your loft and you win never, you cannot have the best. Then you must go out and find a way that you have good pigeons. Also, a little bit lucky, eh? because yeah. And, and I, I remember you telling me a story. And again, we're not going to talk names because there's a lot of people have a lot of good pigeons. Yeah. You buy, you've bought an expensive pigeons from guys, and you've tried them, yeah. and you've put them head to head against yours. Yeah. And you're you right, right from the start. If they don't outdo yours, yeah. they, they don't, they uh, don't, uh, <coughs> they don't continue. You know, when I, when I win the, in, in 2007 and 2008, the first national, then, uh, of course, in, in the, on, on the, the beginning, uh, they, they, they want to give you a little bit money for this. And uh, then I take the money. What I do was, I say to my father, now I have money, I spend it again on pigeons. Okay. And I go to, on this time, because I was really pretty new in, in, in the pigeon sport, because I was only three years racing. And then I go to, to, to really good, good names and good pigeons and good winners. And I buy one of the best hand there. And I buy one of the best cock there. And then I come at home and I say to my father in one month, hey, now next year we are gonna win because I buy this pigeon in this loft the best and I buy there the best. Oh, oh, and my old strain, I do it on, 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 on another, I breed not. But then coming after one, two years when I have not my old strain, was finished, done. Hey, you're hearing it from him. I like what this guy says. What this guy says is that's what I felt. Will says this. Ryan, I am not a rich man, but I will try my hardest to buy one from this gentleman here. Because why? I like his character and he's not full of shit. When I met you, I felt the exact same way. I knew there was something about you that I liked. You were special. You know what you know. You, you, you're a straight shooter. And guys, you, you you're going to be happy. You know also, uh, Ryan, I say, I say this. When you're a little bit older, uh, uh, there is more than a pigeon believe me when my father was terminal from cancer i stay with him two months i stay at home for my job i stay with him two months on his bed all the time and then later when i must take it in your head to everybody looking now i'm not god really not but what i tell you now coming from my heart well you must be jealous of you make stride come on for a pigeon your life is so short so short enjoy every day on your way but please don't don't make stride for a pigeon bah. okay i think on this note one final question for you this is a rosedale is going to get the question of the day any predictions on the match between belgium versus canada tomorrow in the world cup who do you want who are you predicting to win I'm so disappointed, my friend, in the Belgian players on the moment. Because, in my opinion, Belgium bring nothing. Nothing? Really nothing. So who are you going to bet on tomorrow, Canada or Belgium? <laughs> I, I must say Belgium. Otherwise, the Belgian people, they, they shoot me down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what, guys? Um, I want to thank you guys for your uh, questions today. Uh, was the Stephen? That's your American name, Stephen. 
Stefan. What's yeah. the, how do we call the other name? What did you say? It was Stephen, uh, Stefan. What was Stone Mountain. Stone Mountains. That's your last name. Stone Mountain. Steinbergen. Yeah. yeah, Stone Mountains. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. I okay. appreciate it, guys. Yes, you're going to have an opportunity. There's a very few in the auction. Very few from this man. But I will tell you, what is there, I promise you will get the same feeling I did. You see it. It's first class. He's a super flyer. He likes to get beat. He will get you the champagne if you beat him. He will always congratulate you. That's what we like here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for your comments, guys. Be safe. And yes, tomorrow, Belgium will probably beat Canada. <laughs> guys, I'm Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Thanks for flying with me. I think we go have coffee now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for flying with us, guys.